I recognize that you have a difference of opinion here, but Dombrovskis has said, we urge China to address the lack of reciprocity in our economic relationship. Do you agree that there is a lack of reciprocity, given the trade deficit and other issues? Well, uh, Chinese side say we are a developing country, but the European Union are not considered about China as a developing country anymore. So they use the European standard to march China's uh, reality. Of course, this is unfair. Uh, sometimes the European states is a fair competition, reciprocity, but uh, not necessarily follow uh, in their policies towards China. Uh, for instance, in the anti uh, subsidies of the e workers of China. Actually, China's competitive advantage in the e workers is very comprehensive. It's not just a subsidy from the Chinese government. Actually, the European Union does similar things, European United States also. So this is very natural. At the beginning, you need to approach and promote the, uh, the new industries to deal with the climate change. The Chinese comparative advantage actually is very systematic. It's actually a uh, Chinese transition from the industrial civilization to the ecological civilization to the digital civilization. And also, we Chinese always said the digital industrialization and the industrial digitalization. So this is a very dynamic concept and um, philosophy, made which different with the Europeans. We also know the European Union recently announced that it would be launching these countervailing investigations into a range of sectors, including the sale of Chinese EVs into the continent. What's your view on this and how is the Chinese side thinking about some of the European measures when it comes to the export of its vehicles? Okay, first of all, uh, Europeans actually uh, they need to deal with climate change. Uh, we learned from the European Union also put forward the neutrality of the CO2 emission. So China and the Europeans actually they are natural partner to jointly to deal with. If you have the uh, sub uh, uh, anti uh, investigation or anti subsidies investigation of the Chinese e workers, Europeans cannot reach the goal of the climate change, uh, and also. Many cars made in China, actually it's not Chinese companies, it's Germans. So it's joint venture. So if this anti substitutes investigated, it's also to harm to the German uh, workers. And thirdly, and as I mentioned, Chinese competitive advantage is not just a substitute. So this is a protectism of the European market. So as the Chinese, we have said, we, we, we need to mutually uh, fair access to each market. So European Union actually need to protect China's investment or the Chinese companies' interests.